I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. While most people have heard of Napa Valley in California or tasted wines from Oregon or Washington, the secret gem of the American wine scene lies along the Snake River Valley in southwestern Idaho. Idaho wines are more comparable to wines from Washington State. We share the same Cascade rain shadow, high desert climate. There's Willamette Valley, there's Napa Valley, and then there's Snake River Valley. Uh, we're really unique for our soils. We have really volcanic soils. And the Snake River is the only reason that we can grow grapes here because it gives us a microclimate. It's more about developing and using the land and the climate. So. Uh, we develop old world style wines in the new world. I met with the Idaho wine pioneers like Ron Bittner and his daughter Amy, Tammy Stone McClure of Indian Creek Vineyards, and Greg Koenig of Koenig Vineyards, as well as Texas transplants Tim and Helen Harless, Sydney Netterend, who started Scoria Vineyards at just 20 years old, and the mother daughter team of Hadley and Leslie Robinson. He started in planted our first grapes in 1981, and uh, in Idaho they didn't know if we could grow vinifera fruit. I was coming back to Idaho after graduate school and found this property and was told it was a great site for vineyard and we planted the vineyards starting in 81. Back in 1982 my parents had the vision to start this winery and that's when they decided to uh, let's plant you know 16 acres of grapes and see how they do. So when I first started, I think I was the eighth winery in the state of Idaho, and I had eight barrels of wine, so that was about 200 cases. Then in the 2000s, we seemed to have enough uh, history that more people started becoming interested. My husband and I decided back in 2005 that we wanted to just continue it on. We came to visit some family who was living nearby, and they brought us wine tasting here, and we were really impressed with some of what we found in 2007 and this was a pioneering region. Idaho's grown tremendously, especially in the last 10 years. A whole slew of young winemakers has come into the state that have, they're very good at marketing, they're very good at winemaking. I went to school for finance, but I got into wine because the design and marketing aspect was really appealing to me um, and being able to start my own business. The wines from Idaho are unexpected, surprising, and delicious. Idaho only has one large winery, and the rest of us are very small, so it's very much a craft winemaking scene. Our direction is not to be the, the biggest winery around here or uh, be in all the marketplaces. We, we're going to focus on our wine club, stay small. You know, people have always come for the outdoor pursuits like rafting and hunting fishing and, and fishing, hunting. but you know, the wine industry brings a lot of money to the state. And the benefit to all of it has been the people that we get from all over the world who come out here. It's such a surprise mm -hmm. who share their stories and enjoy our wines. The other winery owners and people who participate in on the wine trail here are just amazing human beings. Why not try, you know, expand your palate and try Snake River Valley wines? That's what's fun about wine. It's just kind of an adventure of your palate and an adventure of place. I love all of our wines. We've been fortunate. We tend to drink our own wine a lot because it is, it's good wine.